I presume you're here in order to learn of magecraft. I'll have you know, there's no room for the weak willed in this course, and despite your best efforts, the sorcery of our time is but a fraction of what it once was in the Age of Gods. Much of the craft is established through pedigree, and the culture of mages is riddled with deception and moral depravity. That said, if you insist, I shall do my best to educate you in this miserable yet fascinating world. In our previous lesson, I covered a handful of thaumaturgical systems mages built their craft upon. Admittedly, many of those systems were Western in origin, and it's worth noting that mystery is not bound to any one culture. In particular, there are many systems originating from the Far East that also hold significance in the world of mages. To begin exploring these Asian styles, I would like to dedicate this lesson to the various forms of magecraft derived from Taoist philosophies, namely philosophy magecraft, feng shui, and onmyodo. As a general overview, Taoism is both a religion and philosophy that originated from ancient China, specifically from a collection of poetry known as the Tao Te Ching, or The Way and Its Power. This book, most associated with philosopher Lao Tzu during the year 500 BC, hopes to guide humans and animals into living in balance with the universe by altering their thoughts and actions. Its roots are so strong in Asian culture that more than one thaumaturgical system has emerged from Taoist teachings. Arguably the most powerful of these systems is called philosophy magecraft or thought magecraft. Expanding beyond China, it is practiced across continental Asia and the Middle East. The creators and practitioners of this prominent magecraft are beings called Xi'an, immortal Taoist sages from the Age of Gods. Some Xi'an are born into this category, such as the Zhenren Yu Mei Ren, an incarnated elemental who served as the consort of Lord Xiang Yu. Other Xi'an ascend to this immortal status through training in the Xi'an arts, such as Tai Gong Wang. The origins of Xi'an trace back to a mystical tree known as the Fusang Tree. Also called the Tree of Life, the Fusang Tree is a crystallization of the Xi'an secrets, as well as a treasury of wisdom regarding all manner of life. True Xi'an, the ones born with this power, are said to be divided spirits of the Fusang Tree. In addition to their arts, many Xi'an also utilize mystical tools called Baobei. The famous sage Taiyi Jenren created such Baobei in the form of Netsa's body, as well as her iconic weapons. This pertains to philosophy magecraft because it was originally created by the ten Xi'an officials of the Summit Court. By working together, they designed this form of thaumaturgy, not based on the root, but around a gigantic mystic code fused with the planet called the Philosophy Foundation. While Western Magecraft relies on formulating a spell along the planet's mana ley lines, Philosophy Magecraft is channeled through the Philosophy Foundation at specific locations called Privileged Domains. They can only be accessed through Philosophy Keys connected to the original ten founders. For the most part, Philosophy Magecraft has been lost to the modern era. But in the Chinese Lost Belt visited by Chaldea, the ruler Qin Shi Huang used the remains of Netza's body to transform himself into an artificial Xi'an, presiding over the country while the Fusang tree assimilated with one of the alien god's fantasy trees, Mayal. In this manner, he helped preserve the Xi'an arts for over 2,000 years, using its secrets to cure his people of pestilence. Despite the fallout of philosophy magecraft, it is still cherished by a Chinese organization called the Spiral Manor. It is essentially China's parallel to the Mages Association, and thanks to both styles being incompatible, both the manner and association maintain a non-aggression pact. Returning to Taoism in general, we must consider the philosophy of Feng Shui. Translating to wind and water, it represents the idea that human life is connected with the ever-changing flow of our environment. Feng Shui operates on the principles of the Bagua, as well as the five Taoist elements of wood, fire, earth, water, and metal. Bagua translates to eight areas, and describes eight regions gathered around a central point. Much like signs of the zodiac, the Bagua each have multiple meanings, tied to colors, elements, shapes, and values. In all, there is Zhen for family, Shun for wealth, Tai Chi for health, Qian for camaraderie, 
Dewey for children, Gen for knowledge, Lee for fame, Khan for one's path in life, and Kuhn for partnerships. In terms of practical application, Feng Shui isn't specifically used for any given spell, but we can see it combined with astrology and fortune-telling by the spellcaster Fluger. By arranging knives representing the zodiac signs, Fluger creates zones of good and bad luck. This is closely affiliated with Bounded Fields, and has been used as a form of defense against attack spells. Rather than Feng Shui itself, the more famous thaumaturgical system, On Myodo, is a derivation of Feng Shui. Technically, On Myodo is a Japanese variant of China's system based around the yin and yang, and is often applied through divination and curses. Its most famous practitioner was Abe no Seime, an On Myoji of Japan's Heian period. When Oni gathered at Mount Oe, and human victims began disappearing from the imperial capital, it was Abe no Seime who divined that Shuten Doji was the culprit. This led to the Oni on Mount Oe being slayed by Minamoto no Raiko and her four heavenly kings. Abe no Seime was also the one responsible for exposing Tamamo no Mai as a fox spirit to Emperor Toba, leading to her being hunted and killed by imperial guards. With these two accounts being over 100 years apart, it is believed that he had an extended lifespan from being mixed blood between a human and some other phantasmal creature. The Onmyoji Ashiya Domen refers to himself as Abe no Seime's rival. He was a Buddhist priest and an enemy of the Japanese government, known for wicked plots such as cursing Fujiwara no Michinaga. While Ashiya and Seimei were once allies in the Bureau of Onmyo, they went on to clash as two master spellcasters. In his own way, Ashiya Domen is also immortal, to an extent, thanks to using the secret arts of Hakudo Jonin. Murasaki Shikibu, the Japanese novelist most famous for the tale of the Genji, was a pupil of Abe no Seimei. As such, she learned spells that would vanquish her foes. During life, she was lackluster in her own Myodo, but these skills received a significant boost when summoned as a caster heroic spirit. To activate her spells, Murasaki draws pentacles, also referred to as Seimei stars. A more obscure practitioner of On Myodo is the Tengu sage Kichi Hogan, most famous for teaching the art of war to Ushiwakamaru. Similar to a genren, Tengu are a species of elemental affiliated with mountains, skies, and fire. Most Tengu don't associate with humans, but Kichi Hogan proves to be an exception, founding the swordsmanship Kyohachi Ryu at Kurama Temple. This means that they balanced their own Myodo with martial arts and military strategy. Much like philosophy magecraft, On Myoji have almost no connection to the Mages Association. Or rather, overlap is extremely rare. I can point to at least one example where they overlap, with the Yiga de Millennia faction dabbling in it, though that is likely to do with the faction being made up of various struggling mage families. While Western magecraft can involve the summoning of familiars to do one's bidding, the Onmyodo equivalent are the Shikigami. These creatures share a spiritual connection to their master, performing a single type of curse through a shared contract. More specifically, Shikigami are not actually living creatures, but are instead created when an Onmyoji pours mana into an otherwise ordinary object. Their contract comes with being given a true name that ties a Shikigami to its master. One example is Mashiro, the nickname of a Shikigami created by Kasumi Hiragi. Originally in the form of an owl with the true name Oboro Zukio, Mashiro took on the form of her master, and now acts as a false substitute for Kasumi during a Holy Grail War held in Tokyo. Abe no Seime was said to have created 12 Shikigami throughout his life, named Byako, Dayon, Genbu, Kijin, Kochin, Rikugo, Seiryu, Suzaku, Taijo, Tenko, Tenku, and Toda. While she is not an Onmyoji, it is rumored that Akiha Tono has an ability called Shikigami Operation. Details on how it works are unclear, but it is theorized that Akiha used this ability to save the life of her adopted brother, Shiki Nanaya, when they were children. If this is true, it implies Shiki might be some variation of Shikigami, with Akiha being his master. Let us not get too carried away by speculation. Earlier, I mentioned Onmyodo adopted the philosophy of yin and yang. 
In Chinese Buddhism, it is called the Taiji and is visualized through the iconic image of two opposing forces. Not only is life balanced by opposite forces such as night and day, or good and evil, each of the two forces has a small part of the other inside itself. After all, we cannot live by abolishing one force in favor of the other. Rather, the key to proper living is finding balance between them as they exist harmoniously. This is important because invoking the duality of yin and yang helps mages construct elaborate spells. Our best example is the Honoden Rokuju Yonsho, the bounded fields surrounding Soren Araya's Ogawa apartment complex. The building's very architecture is based on the Taiji, and since Araya shares this same philosophy, he gains considerable influence over anything within the barrier. This includes being able to instantly teleport from part of the complex to another, even fusing through walls, as well as an ability to crush or condense the space within as he pleases. The way in which Araya uses the building to encapsulate a world on its own, combined with the supernatural properties of Shiki Ryogi, prove capable of bypassing the counterforce, giving him a direct path to the root. If only Shiki were in support of this endeavor. Instead, she fought and killed Zorin Araya for trying to use her against her will. Interestingly, the nomenclature behind Ryogi ties Onmyodo directly to Taiji philosophy. It supposes that Taiji is the one, the beginning of the world, and the yin and yang that divide it are collectively known as Ryogi. In that regard, Soren Araya was almost literally trying to incorporate the concept of Ryogi into his model. It makes sense when you consider that the Ryogi family is known for their practice of instilling dual personalities into its members. In summation, we simply cannot underestimate the value of Asian magecraft systems. For the ones covered today, they all spawned from ancient Chinese Taoism, giving us philosophy magecraft, which is practiced by immortal sages called Xi'an, and the Taoist idea of Feng Shui gave rise to Onmyodo and the Shikigami. Asian magecraft is exceptionally broad in scope, and due to the association's lack of contact, it appears mystifying even to Western mages. To fully understand it, we must dive deep into the rich history, culture, religion, and philosophies practiced in the Far East during the Age of Mystery. Taoism predominantly originates from China, so for our next lesson, I hope to speak more on Japan's unique Shinto beliefs and the magecraft established upon them. Thanks for watching! If you enjoy this channel, help us grow by liking, commenting, sharing the video, subscribing to Otaku Daikun, and most of all, smashing that notification bell so you don't miss out on all of our anime discussion, lore, or Let's Play content. You can support us directly through Patreon, Subscribestar, or our YouTube membership, all of which come with benefits like exclusive vids and early access. As always, celebrate, celebrate your, your fandom! fandom. I want to give a special shout out to all my $10 and up supporters. Video Gamer 75, Steven Elak, Samuel Gersten, Otaku Mom, Jens Bauman, Mystic Samurai 1983, Lord Ormagoden, Freebrick, RNG or Shuffles 1498, Alexis Yukio Gomez Yamato, Johnny Tsunami, Link Pendrago, Brandon Baker, Observer Bellis, Flash Daniel, Matthew McAfee, Game King 352, Caitlin P, Vladimirovna, Succubus Sakura, Normace, Jonathan Padua, The Taz 96, and SF Giants Fan Mike. Thank you all so much.